Hello Drawing Kids, this is Mrs. Gardner and this is your Art Binder review video. And so here's our Art Binder, it's worth 100 points. When you come back to school, bring it back and I'll start grading them at least by Tuesday. Monday I might be passing out some rubrics and things to put in there. And so speaking of rubrics, at the very back there is that special yellow, golden yellow rubric that says goals checklist for the art binder, which is this, and it gives you um, the requirements if you want a full grade for your art binder, and you get 100 points each nine weeks, so this is important. I'm not worried about you filling out this chart up here on this particular rubric, though, so that's okay, and here's where I'll put your grade for this quarter one. So do put your name, and this, of course, put drawing right there. And so that stays in the back. It's the very back, for sure. Now, skipping to the front, though, let's see. I always start here. I make sure that you have it labeled, so drawing class or period eight, and your name on the spine. That's important. And then also your name and label on the front. Okay, so notice I have these things. And then your own version of however you want to be creative about decorating the front of your binder. So creativity points for that. Don't leave it just plain, even if you bought a really uh, snazzy binder. I want some personal decoration on there too. Okay, so when we open it up, first thing you should see right here will be your syllabus. There's a drawing syllabus. And then also I gave you a special sheet that I said put in the front with your syllabus, either on it or right here is even better. It's Mrs. Garner's e-learning during fall break paper that, you know, has our schedule and everything on the back. So, have that. And then you have two tab dividers. So notice that you have the note divider right here. So, and you have the rubric divider a little further back. Now I'm gonna skip all the way deep into the notes. It's okay, in, I, I like to make my older notes at the bottom and work my way up. It's okay if you do it the opposite where you start over here and work your way back that way as long as it's in order and makes sense. Now my notes are on one page each but for you all to save paper you're, you have one on one side and two on the other then you go to a whole new notes paper of course so I'm just showing you what we have. So we have lesson notes one, art and uses of drawing, of course this is chapter one from early on. I'll just flip through them kind of fast. There's number two, the visual vocabulary. Of course the date and your name should be up here and all information should be filled out at the top. Lessons three was elements of art. Lesson notes four was elements of texture, space, and color. Number five notes was principles of art. And number six notes was more principles. like. Um, really is principles of design. And then we had our chapter one test, which we had done on Schoology, most of us. So um, I'm not sure if I gave you a hard copy paper that we normally would get. So that's okay if you don't have that, if you did it on Schoology, okay? And then we went into our notes for, let's see, another chapter, should be chapter two, dry media, which is number seven notes. And then I did give you a handout that you should have in there and it had to do with um, the grades of pencils, you know, of graphite. And then we had uh, notes number eight, wet media. So that chapter only had a couple of notes. And then here's chapter two, tests. Okay, so I believe we did that online too, but I think I gave you the hard copy, so have that right there, even if you did do it on Schoology instead. And then I provided you with a hard copy of our new notes that you were going to do during e-learning. But make sure you actually hand copy those if you want credit for them, even though I gave you the hard copy. So number nine was gesture drawing. And number 10, contour drawing. And then the last one for that chapter, for that's chapter three, uh, shading and sketching is number 11, okay? And then we had, the, I gave you the hard copy for the chapter three test. It looks like this. If you did it on Schoology, that's absolutely fine. It's just a slightly different version of it. If not, then, you know, I mean, if you did, it would just be a blank hard copy. But leave it in there so it kind of keeps it all nicely in order. And I think that would be all you'd have in a notes section for now. And then for our rubric section, let me go to the back. Remember that golden one, that's always first there. And then our first rubric is our sketchbook, okay? And, you know, fill it out with your name, 
and you should do the um, where you evaluate yourself up above in pencil. It has a checklist of what you should have. There might be a little bit more than what you... Now, I'm going to be a little lenient on this about the signing and dating and such, but I don't just want a bunch of sketches just kind of randomly, you know, I, I don't want to have to figure out what sketch goes with what assigned topic. So make sure it's clear to me, you know, however you kind of choose to number them or title them. That's up to you, but you should always sign them anyway, each one really. Now, you should also have this filled out. And this is also on Schoology um, sketchbook section. And it tells you what they all are. I have it all updated right here also. And you, quarter one will be finished when you come back. We'll just start like a new section there. So written on your rubric, but also on the inside of your sketchbook, which will be another video. And then our second rubric was a graded one three-point perspective fantasy land. So it should be graded and in there. Uh, the third one, some of you did turn yours in to get started on the grading. Some of you didn't, and that's okay. But have your name here. Um, of course, if you turned it in to me, I would have that, but I'll try to get it back to you on Monday so you can put it in here, and I'll, and I'll start grading binders after that. Okay, so it may or may not be in there at the time I grade. And then this should be in there because we'll be working on that when we come back, continuing on it. It's the studio project number four, Gesture Contour. And let's see. Oh, and I did give you um, a hard copy of this nice example of comparing gesture and contour drawing. And that should, this is all future stuff here, so you wouldn't have everything I have. But what I've shown you so far is the basics, worth 100 points. So have, you know, don't forget to bring it back on Monday, ready to go. And I'll, I'll grade it right off the shelf. Okay, bye guys.